Before we continue with this video, make sure to hit that like button, show your support, and make sure to comment for what more battles you want to see with Emperor 40 is ripped from the Riptide Blast hit. What is up everyone? Today I'm going to be taking a look at Hasbro's new Riptide Blast Emperor Fornius and tried it against Beyblade Burst GT. Now, through my actual Turbo video, I was able to find out that this Fornius actually is pretty decent for Turbo Bay. So we're going to see how it competes against the latest season, against Takaratami Prod, which is Beyblade Burst GT. I'll probably do 2-3 rounds, make it to show the gauge whenever I launch any of the bays. And let's begin! And while we have simple like goal, uh, 500 likes, I guess, let's try to beat it. And, let's begin! So, I'll probably go with the new releases a bit after, actually, one more what? just because people are going to be wondering if I am going to do it. We'll do Dread Bahamut first, and yes, Dread Bahamut does actually have the gen weight for it, which if you don't know what that is, it's just like a little burst stopper weight. Makes Dread Bahamut a little bit more tolerable. So because there's so many limited bays, I mean, there, yeah, there really is a lot of limited bays in this because the uh, GT doesn't have too much right now. I will do two rounds. First session, I'll do it in battle ring mode. Then after, I'll do it in slingshot mode. So we'll see if this Fornius can actually hold up till the end. I actually will be surprised if it wins all of it, but I guess that's probably good for Hasbro's side since that means the Fornius is pretty decent. You know, it's a bit of spin ceiling right there. Oh, that's gonna be a bit tough. I don't think it's gonna be 40 now. Okay, that was a bit hard to tell, but let's first do our single sessions against the regular bays. And by the way, I'm gonna make sure I keep on resetting this. I already reset it when I launched it, but we'll move on to the next left bay just to get it over with. We'll do it against Wizard Fafnir, which is pretty cool. I don't think I've ever really tried it in this stadium, other than like one other video, so I guess it's another chance for it to shine. Yeah, Ford is kind of hitting where the rubber isn't, which is not good uh, for Fafnir. Let's show you. It's really fun to reset the gauge, but yeah, we, we gotta get to like the base to kind of make the battles a bit slow first, and then after we'll go to like the more powerful base. Alright, that was Fafnir. Actually, did pretty decent against Fafnir. Alright, we're gonna move on to our next bait. Let's try it against Slash Ashura. Look at Fornius go! Now, Fornius should be able to beat Slash Ashura. Okay, there we go. The gauge, by the way, we reset it. Yeah, so I think we might get lucky. I think we maybe won against Dread Bahamut and lost the wizard. It's a little bit hard to tell with those first few, but let's try Bushin Dragon. It's blue on blue action. Come on, Fortius, you can do it! We believe in you! Use the power of the sharks! The sharks! Oh yeah, he's the power of the Sharks, Fornius. I was just thinking if I should make me make another combo with Dragon. I can probably try a different combo with Dragon near the end of this video. Or open it up, because I already have a spare Dragon. I was going to do like Grandeur Rock. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, we'll, we'll do it against Ace. Valkyrie now. But uh, yeah, you know, tell me in the comment section below, I guess, too. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Riptide Fornius? So, I keep on resetting the gates, but hopefully in these battles we see it do pretty okay. I don't think it's gonna mess up against uh, Ace Valkyrie. Say for an example. Uh, that wasn't actually half bad at all. Say, so, next bay, we're gonna try it against Slash Valkyrie. Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Why is it like this? Hey, you all know what? I'll, I'll switch the dragon at the end. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why Valkyrie's like that. God, I'm just trying to do a video right now, Valkyrie. Come on.
Ooh, that was a good hit. This might be a burst. You can kind of hear me resetting the launcher right now. That might be a burst. It's only if it's able to actually continue with those uh, consecutive hits. Move the bit at the end. Whatever, we're gonna try it again. The one, the only Ace Dragon. See, these battles can go by quickly since I kind of want to see uh, some of the other, like more of the recent days. I kind of need the recent days at the start so that way, you know, we kind of get a mix in this video of sort of like recent and not too recent days. Hopefully this goes out how I'm planning it to, so it doesn't drag on. But you will get some battles sometimes where the base kind of like just drag on for a bit. This is decent against Ace Dragon. All right, let's try it against uh, let's try Grand Valkyrie. I thought for a second this will be the bay that uses the rails. I guess not. I mean, okay, so next up we have got Bushin Ashura. I basically like Valkyries in the Joker left before we do that switch. Okay, we'll probably do a uh, Rock Dragon next. So I just found the parts for it. But, should be okay. I don't think we're gonna get a burst in this video. Probably no burst. Probably no burst. But... Why are you like this? Why? I guess I have to do another round of that. Yeah, sometimes it gets a bit annoying, but you know what I mean? That's why we redo the rounds. Just because the bays are so bulky, they're kind of not meant for this stadium, but... You know, this is a turbo video, first and foremost, so... Yeah, we'll do that, and then after I'll switch Dragon to Grand Dragon after I do another bay. That rock lair base is doing wonders. Lost, and I thought it got it. I was like, hey, you don't know what? The rock lair base is not that bad. You wanna know what? I, I like the rock lair. And then after it just loses. Like, come on, why, why you gotta be like this? All right, next up we're gonna try the stamina lair base, which if you don't know what it is, that is called Grand Dragon. And we're gonna see how Grand Dragon performs against Fornius. I think Grand might be able to counter has Rose Fornius, but who knows? I think maybe Fornius might win. Get out of there. That is, that is, that is something. I'll tell you that much. It beat Grand and it beat Rock pretty easily, so. Other Slash, you gotta avenge the GT base, come on! Come on, Other Slash! Don't fail us! Please! It's gonna fail us, isn't it? Of course! Alright, next up we're gonna try it against uh, Grand. Valkyrie, this is a stamina Valkyrie. I'm prepared for anything at this point. I think it's maybe just because of the height of Fornius, maybe because sometimes it's actually hitting the metal disc, maybe that's what's leading the other base to win. But I don't think that should happen. But I guess whatever. You know, one more bay after this, and this one's probably going to be... <laughs> this one's a... 
This next phase is going to be pretty tough. So we're going to do Judgment Joker. That is tough. Okay. That is an RIP. Alright, so quickly now, we're gonna just do one round. We're gonna do it against all these base link shock mode. So you can see. Alright, it lost to Judgment Joker in its Riptide mode. Rip Riptide mode. I mean, that would be a cool name for mode. No, it's Slingshock mode. This Ace Valkyrie shouldn't win. This Fortier should not win, but... Will it? Yeah, I was about to say, if it does... Alright, next up we've got Grand. That would have been a cool ring out if Fortnite was able to pull it off, but I guess not. Ooh, that is Grand Valkyrie. Alright, next up, we're gonna try Fornius against Ace Dragon. Oh boy. And just like that. Alright, next up, we're gonna be doing that against Cosmo Valkyrie. Got Ace Valkyrie, Ace Dragon, now Cosmo Valkyrie, so... Okay! Yeah, Slingshock Mode is only good against if another base in Slingshock Mode, I don't think. I guess in 40s case, it's not really as effective as it would be. Try Slash. Go get him, Fortius! Get Slash! Come on! That is an RIP. At least no burst, right? We haven't seen Fortius burst in this whole video. Man, if Fortius had a bit more stamina, might have actually won. Alright, we're gonna try it against another splash. Fortius, come on! Riptide Blast! Whoa! Every time I make up a move, it actually might win. Actually, we almost, almost actually did a burst on that one. Okay, let's try Bushin Dragon. Go around, Fornius! Whoa! Yeah, it kinda has life after death there, but... We're gonna try it against Lucian Ashra. I'm a little disappointed. I actually thought in the Slingshock mode it would've done a little bit better. Whoa, okay! It's not gonna beat Ashra. Actually, almost decent against Astra. We're gonna try it against a quest which is on Slash Astra. Fair play, I guess. It beats Slash Astra, but do we count that? Because that's not really like a good bay. Like the stock, I. You know, any bay with quest, really. I don't think any bay with quest is actually that good. I think Quest is a cool concept, but just like, really dumb in real life. Yeah, but shout out to our Vegas though. Yeah, okay, we're gonna move on to our last one, which is gonna be Wizard. Hopefully with Wizard, it doesn't actually lose. Fortius! Riptide Blast! Imagine if it won. Wait! Ah, that's Fafnir. Was that Fafnir? Let me tell me the comments. I think that was Fafnir. Alright, Fortius did pretty decent against uh, these. I actually think this Fortius 
Yes, I know it's a stock with the zero disc and everything, but the zero disc probably does help it quite a bit. I think in general, this 40s is pretty good. So I guess make sure to check out my Riptide uh, Blast uh, unboxing video. I also did it against all of Turbo. Make sure to check it out. And if this video passed me like a thousand likes, if we manage to pass that, and a lot of people really want me to do it, I'll do it against all Big Lead Burst Evolution. So I guess stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.